Hey guys, welcome to MMA Insider where we talk about anything and everything related to MMA. Since he is no longer the UFC heavyweight champion, Francis Ngannou is free to sign with any other organization that promotes combat sports. After more than a year of contract disagreements, Ngannou has parted ways with the UFC. MMA fights are organized by the UFC, a company that has grown significantly in prominence over the years for both the fights and the fighters. But how much money do fighters really make? A primary source of income for UFC competitors is their participation in fights and the associated pay. Every time a fighter enters the octagon, they typically sign a contract for a set number of fights at a set price. Low, medium, and high tiers are available, with the lowest paying between $10,000 and $30,000, and the highest tier ranking between half a million and $3 million every bout. When a new fighter joins the UFC, they typically receive the lowest tier contract. A better contract, ranging from $80,000 to $250,000 per fight, is signed to a middle tier after a few victories and the development of a reputation within the octagon. And unlike other major American sports leagues, such as the NBA and the NFL, that pay their athletes 50% of the total revenue, the UFC pays its fighters 16 to 20%. The decision by Francis Ngannou to renounce his heavyweight title and leave the UFC stunned the MMA community. Ngannou came forward to explain his departure on his YouTube channel in response to the many speculations that have been put forth. The Predator first addressed reports that he would avoid a fight with Jon Jones, who was making his comeback. He emphasized how much he wanted to fight Jones and how disappointed he was that it never happened. This is what he had to say. They have also said that I'm scared of fighting Jon Jones or somebody else, which I don't know where they come from with that one. That sounds very ridiculous, in my opinion, with all due respect because I've been calling for this fight for two years. I've been waiting on this fight forever, and I've been fighting guys with one knee, with injury, and now, why do I be scared of them? Well, I feel even more confident. No, I'm not scared. Ngannou continued by describing how the rigidity of the promotion's contract caused negotiations to break down. The only thing that I'm scared of is to be trapped, is not to lose my freedom, which I value very much. You guys know how the UFC contract can be restrictive, and as an independent contractor, you don't really have a say in that contract. You don't even have a right, so I can't. I can't do that. There's not really a lot of things that you want or you can when you're in that contract. They decide for you. The payouts for UFC 270 were made public by the California State Athletic Commission, and they made for intriguing reading. Francis Ngannou earned $600,000 for capturing the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship, while Cyril Gagne earned $500,000 for winning only his 11th career match. The discrepancy, though, is obvious to all. Ngannou earned $600,000 after defeating a contender for the heavyweight belt. According to reports, Fury earned $30 million during his three fights with Deontay Wilder in heavyweight boxing. It is easy to understand why Ngannou wants to go to the lucrative sport of heavyweight boxing, and he has categorically said to the UFC that he will no longer compete for $600,000. Dana White, 53, explained his side of the failed contract negotiations, saying Ngannou was trying to make more money while facing lesser competition. This is what he had to say. I've told you guys this before. If you don't want to be here, you don't have to be. I think Francis is in a place right now where he doesn't want to take a lot of risk. He feels like he's in a good position where he could fight lesser opponents and make more money. We're going to let him do that, release him from his contract, and give up our right to match. According to White, Ngannou declined a deal that would have made him the highest paid heavyweight in the history of the company. Ngannou has expressed publicly his desire to fight at some point in a boxing ring and has made a pitch to do so while still under contract with the UFC. The plan is for the UFC to jointly promote his boxing matches, much like they did for Conor McGregor's matchup with Floyd Mayweather. Tyson Fury, the heavyweight boxing champion, is eager to fight Francis Ngannou. The English boxer called out the former UFC heavyweight champ for a boxing match in an interview with Seconds Out. Francis Ngannou, I know you're out of contract with the UFC. Want to earn some big boy money? Come see the Gypsy King. Let's do a big, big fight for the baddest MF on the planet. Let's kick it up spicy, in a cage, four ounce gloves, under Queensberry boxing rules, and let's have a badass referee like Iron Mike Tyson. Did I just sell that to the world? Fury promised Ngannou a high paying match and suggested a star studded spectacle with Mike Tyson serving as the referee. What do you guys think? How difficult will it be for Ngannou to switch from MMA to boxing? Would you be interested in such a matchup? We'll keep you updated. 
If you like our content, make sure to subscribe and we will bring you the latest and most interesting stories. What do you guys want to see next? Tell us in the comments below.